Welcome to our lecture online and our next word problem is one dealing with salaries and the problem reads as follows. We have Mary who earns 16% more than Jim and together they earn $73,440. How much do they each earn? So we start off the problem by letting X represent the smallest amount earned. In this case that's what Jim earns. So let X equal the amount earned by Jim. And it's very important that we very clearly define what each variable represents. Now, how do we rep represent the amount that Mary earns? Well, since Mary earns 16% more, Mary would earn 116% of what Jim earns. So therefore, 116% of X is equal to the amount earned by Mary. So 116% of x, that means 1.16x equals the amount earned by Mary. So that would be probably a better way to write it. So now we have the amount earned by Jim as x, and 1.16x 1 .1 1 is the amount earned by Mary. And the total amount is 73,440. So we can say that the amount earned by Jim, x, plus the amount earned by Mary, 1.16x, must equal the total amount earned, which is $73,440. And all we have to do here is solve this for x. So combine the two, we get 2.16x equals 73,440. Therefore, divide both sides by the coefficient in front of x, 2.16. So x is equal to, and let's get a calculator out. So 73,440 divided by 2.16 equals 34,000 which means that Jim earns 34,000 and Mary would earn 1.16 times that much. So for Jim, Jim earns $34,000. And then the remainder can be found by subtracting those two or simply let's multiply it out first and then check to see if it's correct. So we take that times 1.16 equals, that would be 39,440. And if we add the two together, Indeed, we get the correct amount. So that looks like it's correct, and that's how we do a problem like that. Always make sure we clearly define what X represents. The rest of the problem seems a lot easier that way.